Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series. This is Shenzhen IO. We are gonna give this a bash. <laughs> it's another uh, Zactronics uh, puzzle game. Um, Zactronics being the uh, the developer who made Infiniminer, the precursor to Minecraft. Uh, then Infinifactory, Shenzhen IO, and the other one whose name I forget now, but I did have it and I sucked at it. So we're going to be trying Shenzhen. Um, it comes with some data sheets that it recommends that you print it out, but because my printer is fucked, we're going to be using just the PDF and the bookmarks on it, and we're, we'll give that a bash. Um, I really should have something set up so that I can show you the PDF as well when I'm using that, but I don't right now, but we'll fucking whatever. Shenzhen uh, Huai King Bay District. I've probably just butchered that. It's like rain. The air quality is poor and drone activity is heavy. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the mail. Welcome, dear new employee. Thank you for joining Shenzhen Long Tech. Uh, Long Teng Electronics Company Limited. We aim to become a world leading company in the electronics industry and a respected brand with products in homes, offices, and public spaces across the world. Long Teng Electronics was founded on the following principles. Diligence. This means both diligence in your work and diligence in your life. When you encounter a problem, do not give up. Even if you're not talented by working at it every day, little by little, you can achieve the goal. Connections. The process of creating electronics is, an, uh, is the process of creating connections between different components. In the same way we do business by making connections with other people, therefore it's important to always be making connections in your work. Uh, sa salib salibriousness? Salibriousness? Salubriousness. An unhealthy mind creates an inefficient design. An unhealthy body builds a defective product. Follow correct eating, correct behaviour and correct thinking in order to maximise your potential. Please keep these principles in mind as you contribute to your efforts. Wang Yong Hong, CEO. Uh, from Carl Teske. Ah, fresh meat. Just kidding. Welcome to Southern China. It's alright, Southern. It's Southern. It's alright, I suppose, except for the heat, smog, lack of decent cheese here in Shenzhen. Still, far better than any engineering gig I can find back in the UK, though I'm assuming you ended up here for similar reasons, Carl. Welcome, from Joe. Yo, so I heard you're the newest ace engineer who's gonna kick some ass and take names, am I right? You've probably, all, you've probably heard all about me already. I'm the product guy who, find, who loves to find amazing opportunities and makes the deals happen. Let's do this! Joe Haitao from Wulili. Greetings and welcome to the team. As you've already been made aware, we are on a major international expansion effort and we're eager to see you bring your skills and expertise to the country. Lili Wu from David P. Solomon. My name is David, or in Chinese. <laughs> And I was brought on to help Long Teng with this international push. I've only recently moved here from San Francisco, where I should point out there is a vi very vibrant Chinatown. I'm really loving it so far. It's really fascinating to see the culture at once so ancient and so modern from up close. I'm sure we'll be working closely together to create many successful products. Hello, my name is Jai Zhang. I'm the chief staff engineer, your boss. I've not managed many foreign workers before, so please understand if I make a mistake here or there. Anyhow, I'll send you your first jobs shortly. Open and concept ca okay. Important, read the manual. I know you're, you're so good at engineering systems and life in general. You haven't need the manual in ages, right? Well, trust me on this one. You really, 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 really want to read the manual here. Even better if you keep it handy as you work. Don't be like the non-manual using person who quit just before you started and whose name should never be heard again, Carl. Security camera, fake. Fake surveillance camera, create a working design for this product to view histogram and leaderboards. This product is an imitation security camera. It has two blinking lights. The first light blinks in a regular pattern, the second light is an internet light. So it should be blinking in a more random intermittent pattern to reassemble to resemble data upload. Uh, as you'll notice the design is partially complete already. A previous engineer left, quit, before finishing the assignment. Note the time and diagrams in the verification tab. When you simulate, simulate your output should match those expected values indicated. Let the simulation run for four full tests to make sure you have a proper solution. Jai. I'm absolutely certain you'll do better than the last person. Create a working design for this product. All right. Uh, let's open the design. Okay. Active and network are simple outputs connected to LEDs. Control the active and network outputs with fixed repeating signals as indicated in the verification tab. 
Okay. Uh. Where is the vet? Oh, there's there. Okay, so the active, the simple output. Oh my god, this game's so loud. Can we let's back out real quick? I uh, got the control panel and turn the the music volume down a little bit. I don't know if it is that loud, but it seemed like it was to me. Okay. So what have we got just now? Mo uh, okay, so... Oh my goodness. <laughs> the, um, the manual that we've got for this is ridiculous. Uh, right, let's see what it does just now. Okay, so the Okay, so the blinker's working fine, so what it does it moves uh Why is this so hard? Um Alright, so what it's doing is it's I don't know what the fuck this means because I'm gonna have to have a little look at the the actual reference diagrams. Um but it's making this a hundred sleeping for six seconds or six ticks. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, making P0, 0, sleeping for 6 ticks, then 100 for P0, sleeping for 6 ticks, so that's, that's it, on, off, on, off. Okay, so for the network, what we're going to need is, we're going to need to drop a board in here, do the exact same thing there, but... Oh, it's not even random. I thought it was random. Okay, so what we need to do then is 0 to P0 sleep for is that 4? Move 100 to B0 sleep for 2 move 0 P0 Sleep for one, move 100 to P0, sleep for one, move 0 to P0, sleep for one, two, three, four. Ah, no. Um. Okay. Alright, let's uh, reset, simulate. Chip steps you successfully completed one test run. Let the simulation continue running for all eight to complete the verification process. It doesn't look great. I would much prefer if it was random. Production cost is exactly what it needs to be. Power usage exactly what it needs to be, apparently. Oh, Mavstar got the power usage lower? How? How you do? I don't know, I don't know the difference between these or anything, but... Ah, whatever. It works. Alright. Hey, thanks for the prompt working on the blinking lights. Looks okay. Jai. Hi everyone, we've had a bunch of new sign-ups this last week, so let me reintroduce myself. I'm your host, Tilly Liu. Liu? 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 It's just Tilly Liu. And I run this fun little mailing list for expats in Shenzhen. 
I'm here to demystify some aspects of life and culture here, along with a side helping of colour comedy. Sometimes just the colour comedy. Yeah, I get distracted. Today's topic is, why the heck are we in Shenzhen? No, really, like, why are we here at all? I don't mean in the immediate sense. Sure, we all have some job or some businessy thing to do, but let's talk about the larger factors at play. We're here because Shenzhen's been one of the fastest growing cities in the world for the past few decades, ever since it declared a special economic zone back in 1980. We're here because, and really the entire Pearl River Delta region, is a sprawling mega city wholly dedicated to trade, manufacturing and services, a giant economic machine. We're here because what's possible in Shenzhen really isn't possible in many other places in the world. Certainly not the same scale and cost. So where's all this capability headed? You know, in the future? Are we going to just make more stuff, more products and things until the world's buried in crap? I guess I'm asking, what is all of this incredible growth for anyway? I have some ideas, but that's a topic for another day. Yours, Tilly. Alright, we've got the replacement factory module, which is actually something to do. And please enjoy a game. <clears throat> My daughter's learning programming, she created a simple card game, I didn't want to like to try it and give her some feedback. I put a link in everyone's desktop. She's interested to become a game developer. Wow Jay, that's a lot more polished and far harder than I expected. Your daughter's managed quite the design, uh, to design quite the challenging patience game. Maybe there could be an undo function. She says she doesn't think it needs an undo, because it's actually quite easy once you develop some skill. She really takes after you. Objective, win a game of solitaire. Oh, did you look at that? She made a little solitaire game. But it's not quite... I don't know what this does. Or that one. Or that button. Okay, those buttons do stuff. Uh... I don't know, like... Oh. Oh, it's like free cell. Oh shit, I'm really bad at free cell. So that's an ace and that's... I don't know. Uh, seven can go there. Six can go on to seven. That's it. Okay, that's... Okay, that's not what I'm expecting it to be. Right, what do I need? I need... All of these fancy things. Oh, instructions, of course. Okay. Cards can be stacked and moved to center of the table, but only if they're of alternating suits and decreasing values. Stack three suits, one to nine, in the top right. When all four dragons of a single type are exposed, they can be permanently moved to an open free cell by pushing the corresponding button. Um. Okay. So these are dragons. Got you. Alright. I probably fucked this already, haven't I? Um. Can I just get a new fucking game here? Right. Now I kinda know what I'm doing. Oh. You pretty much done that bit for me. Um, I can't do that. I could do that. And then that. Uh, six can't go on to seven. That six go on, can go on that seven though. Uh, right, that five can go on that six, that's just got two of them. That'll need to go up. Uh, do I have any fives that are around? I can put them there. That there. That one on there. That can go up. That can go there, then we can get rid of all of them. Perfect. That one there. One, two, three. Ah, oh, there's the other one there. Uh. Hmm, 
Is there any more? Yeah, there's another one there. That I need to get rid of. Oh, that's them all there. Perfect. Okay. That can go there. I pretty much got this now. Uh, four can go. Oh shit! Okay. Four, three, two. There. Is there an eight for that seven to go on before I start moving? Yeah. Uh, there is. Okay. Four, that can go there. Those can go to there. And done. Ta da! Yeah, Cedar wins. Achievement unlocked. Climb the mountain. Beautiful. Uh, emails. They said things to me, and then, ah. Oh. Okay, create a working design for this product to view, okay. Uh, signal amplifier. Our factory floor has some examples of older equipment that require control signals to be amplified. We had advice to adjust signals to this type of machine, but recently it was broken. Smashed. This is an appropriate project to teach you about inputs. Smashed? Hold on a second, what happens? Everyone okay? No need to worry. Jai. Control N is a simple input connected to factory equipment. Control out is connected to factory. factory. Control N should be multiplied by 2 and copied to control out. Okay. So I just need this to. No, I don't want. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Control in, control out. Uh, so I want to. Oh my god, this is this is where it's. Signal levels from zero to a hundred. Uh, okay, 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 okay. That's not Xbox, it's just IO. Uh, um, oh my god. I know what the program structure is, I've kind of got that. Label this instruction has no effect. Copy the value of the first operand into the second operand. Jump to the instruction. Sleep. Oh, okay, so it's just uh, mull. Uh, by the value of the ACC. Okay. So, how do I. Registers can store integer values between negative 999 and 999 inclusive. Arithmetic operation would produce a result outside this range. The closest allowed value is stored instead. Uh, add the value of the first operand to the value of the ACC register and store it. Okay, so what we want to do is what to. Add um, multiply zero, add to um, then multiply P zero. I don't... 
DS. What the fuck is DST? Set the digit of the by the first operand to the value. Of the, uh, isolate the specified digit and the value of the ACC register and store the result in the ACC register. Okay. Um. All right, maybe this is a silly way to do it then. Now, so I want to. Oh God. All right, I'm going to need to have a little read at this, but uh, that's going to have to do us for the first episode anyway. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.